Hello, everyone. This is Donald Trump, hopefully your favorite president of all time, with an important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. They're called Trump Digital Trading Cards. Wow. A lot of emotion. There's a lot of emotion in this room. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood. Who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible? This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents. Yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day, very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence and the Pledge of Allegiance are all part of this God bless the USA Bible, and it's just very important and very important to me. Yes, the rumors are true. We finally launched the DRB membership handbook, and it's 100% functioning. It was a long and hard-working process to make the DRB system function properly, but I would do anything for my loyal supporters. The DRB handbook is the only certified way to invest in your future. My stamp signature and the latest uv mark technology can guarantee its authenticity that was an ai generated advertisement for a scam involving something known as trump bucks and unfortunately it's the newest right wing grift that is scamming trump supporters of their money unfortunately there are already examples of elderly people who have been scammed by this now before i continue as we speak, there is no indication that Trump himself is associated with this scam. However, the people behind it, which we will name, are horrible individuals, horrible organizations, and have no problem lying to ordinary people and scamming them out of their hard earned money, in some cases, of their retirement savings. This is a super sad story. I mean, it sounds funny, haha, they, you know, Republican. Uh, voters think that if you uh, buy something for 99 bucks, you can sell it for 10,000. How could that possibly be true? How could anyone possibly think that, right? But they do. Okay, but the, I I don't think that's a ha ha. I think that's that it is sad. Like they, and what sucks is that the same group of folks are always targeted. So, yep. um, who do the uh, prosperity preachers target? They target highly educated graduate students, no. Uh, and it's not a, look guys, it just, it is what it is. And especially with some religious folks, it's not their fault. They're trained from when they were tiny little kids. Turn off your brain, turn off your brain. We do on we do things on faith alone. Well, how do I know what to have faith in? I Don't I have to use my mind to figure that out? No, just the leader will tell you. And if you disagree with the leader, you're Satan, okay? I wanna have a lot of people have it. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. All Americans need a Bible in their home and I have many. It's my favorite book, it's a lot of people's favorite book. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important, it's so missing, but it's gonna come back and it's gonna come back strong just like our country is gonna come back strong. In the end, we do not answer to bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. Christians are under siege. We must protect content that is pro-God. We love God and we have to protect anything that is pro-God. I think you all should get a copy of God Bless the USA Bible now and help spread our Christian values with others. There you have it. Let's make America pray again, God bless you, and God bless the USA. Entire video, the entire promotional video was three minutes and 14 seconds. So that was only a, a snippet, but the Bible, which apparently was inspired by Lee Greenwood's patriotic anthem and hit song, God Bless the USA, is available for just $59.99. It also includes Handwritten, handwritten course to God bless the USA, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance. While the Bible seems like a pretty straightforward purchase, there is a frequently asked question section. Answers questions like, is this Bible officially endorsed by President Trump? Good news, yes, it is, take that Jesus. But the two questions at the bottom we thought were particularly interesting. What if my Bible has sticky pages? 
And is any of the money from this Bible going to the Donald J. Trump campaign for president? There's probably a better way to have worded the first question, but apparently it's common for new Bibles that have the gold gliding around the edges of the paper to get a little sticky. In regards to the last question, no, God bless the USA Bible is not political and has nothing to do with any political campaign. But Jenk, are you picking up a copy? Are you excited to get the only Bible endorsed by Donald J. Trump? This guy's hilarious, man. There isn't anything he wouldn't sell. He's like, what are we hacking this week? Uh, sir, you claim to be worth $10 billion. Okay, got it. Uh, we're selling Trump tissues, everyone. Trump tissues, come and get it, come and get it. Trump uh, easels, uh, little tiny easels, okay? Yeah, prop it up, it's beautiful. I love easels, I love them, I love God. I'm selling God, I'm selling Jesus. Uh, call me the money changer, I mean, whatever. Okay, uh, Bibles, they're meant to be profited off of, and that's what I'm doing. I just want to tell you, you know, I've wanted to do this for a long time. I have some incredible people that work with me on things, and they came up with this. And this is something I've been talking about for 12 years, 13 years, and I think it's going to be a big success. That's the real deal. That's the real deal. The day after former President Donald Trump was ordered to pay nearly $355 million in a civil fraud case. It's actually $450 million when you take interest into account. The former president made an appearance at the Philly Sneaker Con to launch a new money making scheme, Trump sneakers and fragrances. Let's start with the fragrances. So there are two new luxurious fragrances for men and women that'll just cost you a hundred bucks. I don't know what it smells like. I don't know what kind of quality it is, but it doesn't matter. It smells if like grift. Trump, well, <laughs> a lot of people like grift because his items tend to sell out and they sell out quickly. So uh, let's get to the snazzy sneakers. Uh, there are three different sneakers and all of them have in fact sold out. And that is with a limit of three pairs per customer. So they limited how much people can get. So let's take a look at the cheapest ones, which are on the screen right now, which will cost you about 200 bucks. All right. Again, that's the more casual look and the more affordable look if you think 200 bucks for a pair of shoes is affordable. And then there's the ultra rare, super limited, never surrender high top sneaker, the official sneaker of President Donald Trump as a He's putting out there. So let's take a look. Yo, check out these Trump ones. Four hundred dollar retail on these. Check these out. Check the box too. It says Trump, that friends and family. Then when you open it, it comes with like a gold wrapping paper. Check these. These are crazy. Look how many Trumps. And on the friends and family pairs, he signed them. Look at that. Okay, so those are the shoes that are sold out. Uh, the gold, the gold ones. I'm just gonna say it's really not my style, not very flashy. So I know other people might be into it. Uh, the other pairs are actually uh, still available for anyone who's looking to spend 200 bucks on it. Sneakers that appear to have socks already attached to them. Can we go back to graphic two? Okay, I mean, look, people are busy sometimes putting the socks on and then the shoes on can take up a little too much time. So I guess having the socks already incorporated into the shoe um, is uh, helpful to some. But nonetheless, uh, the gold shoes are sold out. Uh Hello, everyone. This is Donald Trump, hopefully your favorite president of all time with an important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. They're called Trump Digital Trading Cards. These cards feature some of the really incredible artwork pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. You can collect your Trump Digital Cards just like a baseball card or other collectibles. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have. Or golf with you and a group of your friends at one of my beautiful golf courses, and they are beautiful. I'm also doing Zoom calls, a one-on-one meeting, 
autographing memorabilia, and so much more. We're doing a lot. Buy one and you will join a very exclusive community. It's my community. Remember, Christmas is coming, and this makes a great Christmas gift. Okay, I mean, there's just so much to say about that wonderful video. Um, number one, nah, he's feeling he's feeling pretty deflated. He is because on two different occasions in that video, he really questioned his greatness. Yeah, I've never seen uh, him do that before. So You're right. good, I loved it. Hopefully, hopefully your favorite president of all time. Hopefully, yeah. But he's reading for a prompter. Somebody wrote that for him. I'm surprised he read it. Okay, <laughs> and then he talks about, oh, you could win dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but that's what we've got. <laughs> yeah, Donnie, what's going on with you, man? But of course, the main story here is he, he made it seem like it was gonna be a big presidential announcement. Remember, he declared that he's running for president. I mean, what is he gonna announce, Uger? I mean- No, 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 of course, I knew it was gonna be a horse crap, are you kidding me? But people in like the news business were generally like, oh, I wonder yeah, what they're people in the news business are stupid, that's why, <laughs> okay? Like, and then they were like disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and they, and to be fair to most most mainstream media, they were ma ragging on him. They were making fun of him. They're like, "Oh, that was after the big after, announcement after, had been revealed." Right. Yes, yeah. exactly.